So are you confused or scared about offering a coaching program? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the exact process on how you can create a next-gen program. Stay tuned. So when I first started coaching years ago, I was doing what most of us do when we start an industry. We just start following the sheep, start following what everyone else is doing. So that's exactly what I was doing. I was just offering, okay, here's a coaching session and I'm gonna be with you for this amount of time for this amount of money. And over the years I have found like, mm, this isn't the most effective thing if I really wanna scale my business. Okay, and grow my business and truly really help this person. And so that's one of the biggest problems that's going on in the coaching industry right now is everyone's just trading time for a dollar. Okay, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna train your mind, we're gonna coach you, I'm gonna take you through these strategies. And so I wanna teach you a next gen process that will that will really help you. And so when I when I get to this process with coaches, a lot of people will, I don't know what to offer them or I'm scared or whatever it might be. And so one of the first things that I really challenge you to do is really look at your journey. Look at everything that you've been through. Look at all the pits, the light, the darkness, and just everything that you've been through. And I really want you to look at what really changed in my being, okay? What was the thing that I learned that really helped me? What was the mindset? What things did I do wrong or did I need help doing, okay? What are some processes that could have really helped me? And then the third thing is, what are some things that would have been useful to have? What are some uh, tangibles that I would have needed? Okay. And so this is how we build our, how we build our next gen branding program is we focus on these three different areas. So instead of just consuming coaching, okay, just consuming is essentially taking in stuff. We focus on both the consuming coaching and the producing. Okay, so consuming is learning, just understanding the how to. Producing is where you create it for them, you help them create the product. Okay, and so when you're building up the value in more than just one on one coaching and just mindset, it makes your product so much more enticing for your for people to say yes. Everyone else that is just trading time for money, and it, and you can do that, and you can make money doing that. However, in this process, it'll take you so far above and beyond what everyone else is doing. Okay, and what we call next gen, which is being unique, it's being different, it's it's offering something that will help them create transformation and peak performance in their life. So I want to go through these a little bit more in depth, so you. Uh, really understand them. So I'm going back to the B, okay? And so this is the usually the meat and potatoes of your program. So this is essentially helping them with the knowledge and also it's helping them with the mindset, okay? And so this part of your program could be, uh, you know, certain of one-on-one -on -one sessions with you. It could be a certain amount of uh, group sessions. It could be an online training, okay? It could be videos right? It could be a, a seminar. It could be um, a retreat, right? So there's so many different things you can add with, add with this. So again, going back to it, the main part of the B is them learning. It's them expanding. It's them changing their mindset. Okay. Now the do is essentially that helps them take action. Okay. It helps them with the process. Okay. So for example, this could be a personal trainer. They go to their house and they teach them uh, exactly how to meal prep all their meals. They teach them how to cook. 
they go through their pantry and chuck out all the bad shit. This is this is what I did when I was a personal trainer. Up, oh, that's going. Up, oh, that's going. We're we're donating this to uh, we're, we're donating this to a charity or a foundation or something, right? Uh, I did grocery store tours. Take them through the grocery store. Teach them how to shop. Teach them how to take look at the labels. Okay. So what is something you can add that will help with the action or the process? Okay. And then the third one is the tangible. Okay, it's the essentially helps them with the results. Okay, so so going back to personal training, you could order their meals for them, right? Um, going back, and this is kind of in between them, you can uh, sign them up for some monthly membership for massages, right? Um, you could, for here, you can get them, uh, buy them their own gym pass. You could... Uh, get them clothes. You can get them a gift card, right? <clears throat> you can get them all their pots and pans and stuff. That's part of their program. Okay. And so what I would start doing is I would just start brainstorming, like, what can I add in each one of these? And so you should have like tons of them, just boom, 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 just line after line. And after each line, what I want you to do is I essentially want you to write, what's the value of that? Okay. What's, what's the true value of offering that someone and this is where people really start thinking really low sometimes and I I, uh, it, I test you to think bigger to really think man like learning this or going to a workshop like this like what would be the result like what's the true value of that thing okay and I really want you to start thinking big and so you're just gonna start adding it up well this is 3,000 this is 4k right this is 3k all right breaking it down the retreat is this much you know this is this much and so you're going to do this through every single thing you're just going to start writing it down okay writing it down they can do this they can do this and just start adding up the cost and so when you're doing this this is kind of jumping actually we'll get there in a second so with with our branding program so what we do is we help them you know, come up with their message, their slogan, their name, like help them understand like the meaning of it, how to spread it through the mouth, right? We really break it down to the psychological and physiological levels of a human being. And so we're, we're literally getting inside of their head and understanding how these, how your ideal client makes decisions, what they're afraid of, what they really want to create. So that's the consuming part. Then the action part is we help them put together their events. We help them with their spreadsheets, right? We help them with how to market this, how to put it together in the right processes, right? We really break all these things down. And then the have is we put together their graphics, right? We put it together in a folder. We help them create their book, their websites, okay? Their video series, their webinar. So all these different things and there's uh, their challenge, right? There's so many different things that we offer. And so, with most other people, they're just, like I was saying, it's just the B. Guys, think outside the box. Actually, get rid of the fucking box. You don't need the box. Kick it aside, okay? That's what being next gen is all about, okay? Is really thinking outside of the box, getting rid of the box, and thinking, man, what would have I needed to believe? What would I have needed to do and have to get results faster in my life? And so, breaking it down like maybe you're a dating coach okay so a dating coach maybe you uh take them to um a speed dating thing right and you're coaching them right then and there you uh take them to a clothes shop and you help them pick out the right clothes right so i really want you thinking outside the box of really everything that they can have and then you're going to add up all the value so what i tell people if you're selling a ten thousand dollar program so if it's $10,000, it legitimately needs to be a program that is $20,000, okay? And not just a $20,000 program that's just kind of made up, like legitimately, like you could sell this program as a $20,000 program, okay? When you're breaking this down though, you wanna make sure that no more than 20%, okay, is coming from that 20K, uh, I watched one person, they sold a $1,500 program and like 900 of it went back to the person so they were stuck with only making $600, 
Okay, and that's all great and everything. However, you need to make sure that you're profiting so you can continually get your message out there and do those things. Okay, so if we're breaking that down, that'd be about $2,000. Okay, and some people might be thinking, well, why don't I just do it for 8K, right? And then uh, just tell them that this other stuff is needed in the program. And that sounds good in theory, but what usually ends up happening is they end up taking that money and maybe buying tires or Christmas or their birthday or something else. It makes it very easy for them to start spending that money elsewhere. So what this is doing is it's forcing them in a way to follow the program. It's already paid for, it's part of the program, so they have to use it. And so where that really helps you is you're gonna be able to get better results, okay? Your clients are gonna appreciate that they're getting money back to them in the program, okay? They're going to appreciate the process and honestly what it does, especially for our clients, is it really helps them learn how to manage a team, run a team, build a company, and learn how to use other people, okay, to help them create more influence and more income in the world, all right? So do this and essentially it's just test, measure, and adjust. If you're sitting down with somebody, okay, and you're offering a program, you're just saying, hey, what, what would you want in the program? What did you need? And over time you'll see, you know, people get excited about this or they don't get excited about this and it's just test, measuring, adjusting. And over time you'll create an amazing program that you feel confident. And so this is the process I do with all my programs. I do it with a low level, okay, low level, middle level, and high level. And so maybe you're not at 10,000. Maybe that's a huge stretch for you. I know years ago, 10,000 seemed impossible. Like I thought, wow, if I get a $10,000 client, I'm gonna be like rolling in the Benjamins, right? However, that's really not that much money. Can you think about your journey? How much would you have paid to do this program before you even started your journey? How much would you have paid? And whatever number you say is the number that people will pay for the program because no one will ever do something that you're not willing to do or you haven't done. Okay, I'm going to say that again. No one is going to do something that you're not willing to do or you haven't done or aren't doing right now. Okay, so this is called business alignment. Okay, you got to be in business alignment, making sure that you're actually doing these things, being, doing, having these things if you want other people to do it as well. As long as you're in business alignment, okay, and you're constantly upping the level of your, your programs, there's nothing that should be stopping you right now in your business. Okay, and so maybe it's just again starting right now so maybe you're just like okay uh ten thousand dollars is a lot well maybe it's five hundred dollars maybe it's a thousand dollars okay i started off with fifteen dollars a session okay fifteen dollars a session i remember when i got my first thousand dollar program i was like oh my gosh this is so much money okay and so we're always stretching ourselves to go to the next level and the brain works off evidence sometimes we are totally capable of getting to the 10k However, we really haven't experienced it yet, so our brain just doesn't see the evidence that it's truly possible. Okay, so start it, start of wherever you're comfortable, wherever you're at, wherever you've invested last. So, you know, for some people that when I tell them, hey, you can develop a 10K program, it's usually because they've never ever invested 10K in their life into a program. The most they've ever invested is maybe a $500 program, so they can't comprehend why people would be paying that much money. So again, it just goes back to what I was saying before, is people are always going to do what you've done, and they're always going to follow what you followed, okay? And so that's why I continue to invest into coaching, is so I can up-level myself and learn how to put more value into the programs and find people that see that value and offer to them. Okay, so my next video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to put together a consultation, how to really offer this to somebody, okay, in the right way so they actually want to take action right now instead of wait for it, okay. Drop some comments, reach out to me if you have any questions, okay, go get it guys, be inspired, be next gen, and again, the world needs you.